when I push play, now that's what I like to see. What's up you guys, welcome back to Funnel Hackers or welcome if you're new to the channel, my name's Matt. And in this video, as you guys saw in the beginning, we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the progress bar like Gary Vaynerchuk uses in most of his Instagram videos. This is great for keeping your users engaged and watching your videos on Instagram all the way through into the very end. So if you guys have an Instagram and you post videos, then this video is one that you're gonna wanna watch. Check it out. Alrighty, so we are in iMovie. It's a very simple process done through iMovie, so hopefully this is very simple and not hard to do at all. So first of all, I have an example video right here, which I'm gonna use, it's about one minute long. That's kind of the length of Instagram's videos that they allow you to post on Instagram. So what we're gonna do is pull up iMovie. I'm gonna scoop this over and then drag and drop this video into this. As you guys can see, this video is 59 seconds, so we could technically post it on Instagram after we get this. So what we're going to shoot for right here is the bar going across as the video goes but we have to make sure that as the video goes along it's going to time correctly so it ends as soon as i'm done with the video so next thing we're going to do is open up google so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in a little on this and scoot it over so if you guys are on a mac or macbook pro i believe it is command shift 4 as you can see the screenshot pulled up now i'm going to drag about this length it doesn't really matter so it literally just needs to be something like this. It could probably be like this. You can always edit it on iMovie. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up off the button. So now it's screenshot of that picture. As you guys can see right here, the picture is now on my desktop, the one that I just screenshotted. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up iMovie, drag it over a little bit, and I'm going to drag the screenshot image on here. So now I'm going to drag this over. Now, as you can see, the yellow is highlighted, so I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go up to this button right here. And instead of cutaway, we're gonna go ahead and go picture in picture. So now that we are doing that, you can see how it is in here. But instead of having this little square box, we're going to go over here and edit it. Instead of Ken Burns, you want to fit. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on these little two boxes again. Now you can see that is longer and skinnier. So now I'm gonna drag this down to the bottom and I can edit it. So I can make it thicker, I can make it really thick if I want. What I'm gonna try to do is line it up with the length of the video. So right there looks about correct, and then right here. And I don't want it super thick, so I'm gonna drag it down just a little bit. I think that looks good right there. So now I'm going to go over here I'm going to take this and drag it to the very end, and I'm gonna drag this to the very beginning. As you guys can see, it's got the little shade right here, so this is kind of the fade in, fade out. I wanna drag this all the way to the end. That way there's no fade in or fade out. We have the solid bar all the way through. As you can see, it's the length of the video. Okay, so now that we have the full bar in here all the way, and it is the same length as the video in the screen, we are going to go ahead and drag this See this little gray bar right here? We're gonna drag this to the very beginning. So now, we're gonna go ahead and click on the video again, but we want that all the way at the beginning. So you see that's highlighted right there. Now I'm gonna go up here and click on this little guy right here, the keyframe. So now, now that I've clicked on that, I'm gonna go back over here and drag this to the very, very end. But not too far, I want it right Right there, perfect. So now that I've dragged that, I'm going to go in here, click on this and drag it all the way to the very, very, very beginning. Perfect. So when I click play, you guys are gonna see the progress bar go this way. We don't want it to drag this way. So if I drag this to the end, you can see how it goes backwards. Now I don't want it to go backwards, I want it to go the opposite way. So see, I don't want it to drag back this way. I want it, this bar to be going this way. Some people like this because it's like, oh, the video is almost over, but I want it to go the opposite way. So it shows people that the video is progressing and going towards the end. So in order to get the bar to go the other way, we're gonna click on this red part that's highlighted. We're gonna go ahead and delete it, drag this over. We're gonna do the same process, drag the screenshot over, send this back up. 
drag this to the very end, drag this to the very beginning, get rid of those fade in, fade outs, click on that, go ahead and put picture in picture, and we're going to go back up to here, click on that, we want to fit, and go back to the double pictures, now we're going to bring this down, stretch it out to the very beginning of the video, to the very end. So you guys know you're at the point where you want to stop when that yellow bar comes up, right? So right there. So now I'm going to drag this down because it's a little thick for me. Right there is perfect. So this time we're going to go ahead and drag this gray bar to the very end. And we want to make sure this is highlighted. Drag it right to the end of the yellow. Right there is good. Now we're going to go back up, click on these two little boxes. Click on the little plus sign right here. Now what we're going to do is drag this all the way to the beginning. Now that we've done that, we're going to drag this all the way to the beginning, right on the yellow. Now when I push play, now that's what I like to see. So instead of the bar going from here back to this way, we have started the video at the very beginning and we are traveling towards the end. This is how Gary Vaynerchuk does it. This is how I'm going to do it in all of my videos. I literally just learned this last night and the tutorials that I watched were kind of helpful, but I had to figure this out on my own because what I showed you guys in the beginning where it starts full and it kind of counts down that's all the guy showed me. So I thought, look, I'm gonna make a tutorial basically on how it starts and drags to the very end because I think that's just how it should be, right? Shows you exactly how much the video has left in it and it is going to the end. This is gonna get you guys viewers very engaged. They're gonna to wanna to watch the whole video and it just ups the percentage of you getting more views and longer views on Instagram or YouTube. So that's it, you guys. So if you guys have to go back and rewatch this video a couple times just to get it down, um, once you get it down, it is super, super easy and it's going to help your viewers stay engaged the whole time while they're watching your videos. This doesn't just have to be for Instagram. You can also put this on YouTube. Um, you could do this for any type of video that you want. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was very beneficial to you. I know that this is uh, going to be something that I use daily in my videos. All right, so there it is. Hopefully that was super, super clear to you guys. If it wasn't, please drop me some comments down in the comment box below. If it was, please drop some comments down as well. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that little button right there. Subscribe for weekly content and drop a like on the video if you found it informing. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.